Minecraft 1.21.5 is here and with it comes Resource Pack Maker's most requested feature, which is the ability to have the texture or model change depending on, for example, the name of the item. Look at that. And in today's tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up your Resource Pack to work with this. Now before we get started, a quick little disclaimer. For this tutorial I'll be assuming that you already have a resource pack with cool custom models. Additionally, today we'll be working with item definition files. And we'll be setting one of those up from scratch, so you should be able to follow along even if you don't really know what that is. However, if you do want to learn more about it, I have a tutorial going in greater detail, which I'll link in the description. Now of course, every resource pack is super unique and very special, so let me get started by showing you my resource pack so that you have a little better idea of what I'll be filling in. What you're seeing on your screen here is my Minecraft's resource pack folder, and as you can see I've got a resource pack called Rename Tutorial. I've set it up especially for this tutorial where we learn how that renaming mechanic works. Now clicking into this, of course we have our standard resource pack stuff, we have our pack.mc meta and we have our assets folder. Inside our assets folder is a namespace called rename on underscore tutorial. For your own resource pack that will of course be different so keep that in mind. And if we open this and then go into models you can see in the item folder we have epic sword and that is of course the model for this epic sword but of course in your own resource pack you will have it set up differently with your own things i just figure i give you a little tour of my resource pack so that you understand some of the model files that i'll be filling in later on and later on is right now let's go figure out how to make that file that makes it so that if i rename an item it changes the model. Now to do that though we need to kind of sort of override one of Minecraft's default models. And that is of course any item that exists in Minecraft. Now as you might have noticed to make this epic sword I used a diamond sword right? And so that will be what I'll be working with today but of course you can use any other item that you like as well. Now for the next part of the tutorial we're going to get really very technical and we're going to use the help of Misode link will be in the description. This here is Misoot and Misoot has a bunch of really cool generators. What we're looking for is the item generator, though as you can see I've recently used it. If you, if you can't find it, there's a button called all generators and in the top you can just search for it. You'll notice there's a bunch that have to do with items, that are item modifiers, and item tag. You don't want that, you just want item forward slash items down here. Now once you're here there's something that you want to make sure you double check over here in the green, it says the version of Minecraft which you're making it for. You want to make sure that it's 1.21.5 or higher. You can also have it at 1.21.4, but this doesn't work in that version of Minecraft yet. So you want to make sure it's 1.21.5 or higher. Once you've made sure that you've selected the right version of Minecraft for you, you want to go over to the left and for type, select, select. In my case here, a bunch of things are going wrong. Don't worry about it. It works just fine even if it shows some errors. For property over here, you want to make sure that you select component because we're checking for components and the component we're checking for is the custom name component. Now where it says cases over here, we can click the plus button and this is where we can choose the custom name it should have. So when the custom name that we've selected is, and we can fill that in here, I'm typing in epic sword for my own sword that I want. So when the custom name is whatever you fill in here, then the model should become, well, in this case, my super epic sword. Now for my epic sword is a regular model. There's nothing special about it. And so then I'm going to type in rename tutorial item slash epic sword. Right, as I've showed you in my own resource pack, this is where my epic sword is stored. Now, if you want your item to be able to have multiple names for multiple models, you can click the plus here as many times as you want and you can just click when. Here you can repeat the steps that we've already taken and you should be good. Now I'm not really going to do that because I really only want one name. But if you want more, you can add it. So right now, when our item is named Epic Sword, it will show this model. But it will not show its default model. And in our case, that's the Diamond Sword, right? It will not show that. We need a fallback for it. If it's not any of the above then it should show the model for minecraft colon item slash diamond sword. And so now basically any time Minecraft sees a diamond sword, it's going to check, hey, what's the custom name? Is that epic sword? If yes, then change the model. If no, then just show the regular diamond sword, right? So for this Mesod section of the tutorial, we've been mostly working towards the left of our screen over here. But over on the right, you can see it has generated our file for us. Now there is a download button right over here which you can press to download it. Go ahead and do that and then hold on to it. 
because we need to save that in a very, very special location. Now that special location, of course, is in our resource pack. Let me show you how to set it up. And so back here in our Minecraft resource packs folder, we have our renamed tutorial resource packs. Inside there is the assets folder, but in here we now need a Minecraft folder. So if you don't already have it, go ahead and create a new folder called Minecraft. If it's already there, then you're absolutely fine. And so then we want to open this Minecraft folder. And if there is no folder called items here yet, you want to create a folder called items. Not like this. There you go. And let's just open this one as well. Now from my downloads folder, I'm just going to drag and drop the file that I just downloaded from Misode. It's currently called draft, but you want to rename it to the item that you used as the base for this. So in my case, that's the diamond sword. And once you have those files in place, you should be able to come back to Minecraft and just reload all your resources. Sorry if that was bright, it, I just pressed F3 and T. Now of course we need to test it, and so we're going to grab our item, which again in my case is the diamond sword. But then we're going to put it in the anvil of course, and rename it to the name that we've given it in that file, which in my case is epic sword. <gasps> and look at that, it is working. Now this is how you can implement that feature into your own resource packs, but hold on, this is not even the best part of it. Right now, the only thing we've done is we've been renaming items, but what if I told you that this could work for any custom data that you can add to items? For example, instead of detecting the custom name, you can also have it detect like enchantments on books. In fact, someone by the name Carl Classic has put together this resource pack where enchanted books have a different look depending on the enchantment that they have. Epic Gamer X125 has put together a really cool resource pack as well, which changes the look of potions depending on the potion effect attached to it. Links to where I downloaded those resource packs can be found in the description. In fact, if you're interested in the resource pack that we just put together here for this epic sword, you can download it on my Patreon where it's available to all members, including free members. So if you'd like to download this resource pack and pick it up part as an example, well, you absolutely can. You can download this for free from our Patreon. And that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps, and I hope to see you next time. I absolutely cannot wait to see what kind of cool creations you're all going to make. Bye-bye!